Hello, I'm Tommy Kaupinen. We are now in a digital education hackathon in Espo in Aalto University. And uh, I have a great pleasure to have a guest also from Cambridge, Copenhagen, where yeah, Isabel Fries. Yeah, from Germany, like <laughs> a lot of different places. Yeah, and you are doing yeah, thesis. Yeah, I've just uh, handed in my master thesis, which I've written at University of Cambridge and Copenhagen Business School about future skills, what are uniquely human abilities in the future workforce, uh, which I also made recommendations for the education system. And it's my first time in Finland Health Thinky. And yeah, it's a great place here at Alta University. So thank you very much for invitation. I'm really happy to be here and um, yeah, to, to talk about future of education and future of learning. Mm. That's great that you came here because I mean, first we introduced of course the challenge, but then Isabel gave a nice pitch about future skills and future of learning. Yeah. And uh, as we saw, we had uh, uh, how many teams there are? Five or six teams? Yeah, I think around th six teams. Yeah. I think like we have like yeah. seven team now. So and they're like really hard working. I think <laughs> now we like, um, yeah. What time is it? I think around eight hours now. Yeah, they're working yeah, yeah. six eight hours. Um, and as we can hear and see, they like really have amazing ideas about the future of learning and education and mm. um, yeah it's like a great place uh, to develop ad ad ideas in a hackathon like mm. here today um, and I think there are like a lot of opportunities in doing a hackathon in 24 hours to develop new ideas mm. coming together we have like a really interdisciplinary participants from actually all over the world yeah, from the US, Japan Ukraine, Hungary, Germany, um, yeah. but also Netherlands. So there are like a lot of people also from Peru. So yeah. really happy uh, to kind of mentor this kind of people. And I mean, we are in Finland and I think we have only one person from Finland. Yeah, that's true. Opera, which is kind of, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of crazy. But um, let's talk about the challenge that we proposed yeah, there. Sure, yeah. Because as you said, it's a 24 hour challenge, yeah. right? So they have 24 hours to actually come up with solutions. And the challenge is exactly how do we learn thinking of different kinds. Think about creativity, critical thinking, uh, also sustainable thinking. Think about spatial thinking. How do we navigate in different cities? Or should we give all of this just to AI? I mean, that is, that is the challenge, right? Yeah, that's true. And, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to hear the ideas from our participants. But as we can already say that uh, critical thinking or also communication, which are part of the four C's, uh, which can be characterized as future skills or human skills, which also include conversation and collaboration. Mm -hmm. um, and I think this kind of thinking mindset is like really a human thing. Mm -hmm. um, so and we should like be aware that it's like a human skill which we have to train in university and in schools and that's why it's so important to have this kind of digital education hackathon here at Alta mm. University to kind of like think about how we can implement critical thinking, sustainable thinking, creativity mm. into the curricula um, a lot more than it's just the case um, in these days and um, yeah and to also think about what is actually human and Absolutely. in schools and mm. university and how we can include this or teach this kind of human skills even better and even more and what kind of um, tasks um, yeah an AI or robotic can already do and how technology can also yeah help us to learn better because there are like a lot of cool tools uh, we can use um, to to learn yeah, better uh, in our own pace and as humans. So actually yeah. there's also like something what, what you can call like tech for good. So there are also like some kind of tools which are actually really helpful uh, in technology um, that are really good for our students, but also mm -hmm. for teachers. Um, so we should make aware of this and do not think about human against technology or against AI, but more or less like human and technology and machines mm -hmm. so that is like kind of like a synergy uh, between these two mm -hmm. um, yeah yeah because it's human with AI yeah, already exactly. now even yeah. if we want it or not yeah. and uh, then we are giving so much power to AI should we get some of the power back I don't know at least learn how to think that's like the most important thing right yeah because otherwise are we humans anymore yeah right that's true so tell me, how do you think like future of learning will change? 
Well, I think, first of all, we should really, really design learning experiences. Mm -hmm. If we don't do it, yeah. I mean, it will be a catastrophe. I mean, we re really, really should um, design the future of learning because, I mean, it doesn't happen automatically that we can cope with the challenges. Yeah. So we should really think, like, what is the role of spaces, creative spaces? Architecture architecture, what kind of colors we should use also, what kind of digital tools we should have in these spaces, or if any, yeah. sometimes, That's true. I don't know, I mean the whole Sometimes learning, pencil and pen is also yeah, working. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, really trying to understand like the full experience, like how do we actually, I mean, cope with the digital tools. Yeah, that's true. Should we have more like, like some hours in, the, in our curriculum where we actually don't even have to or cannot even use any tools, we yeah. should just focus on ourselves yeah. and the others, right? To communicate, collaborate, create together yeah. and think critically. <laughs> yeah, like the four C's I already said, is like really important. And um, I think Alta University or Finland in general is like a good example how to use um, this kind of open space. Mm -hmm. So uh, as I said, it's my first day here uh, in Helsinki at Alta University and I came inside this university, which is like, you actually don't feel like in a university. Uh, of course, it's university, but it's more or less like you really want to learn. You want to sit down. It's like really open spaces. Like mm. really, creativity is flowing already. Um, it's a lot about interior, um, mm. and uh, so you can you go inside university and you just want to learn. Uh, and I think mm. this is like the future that we kind of also create. Uh, learning spaces um, that really motivate everyone to to learn. Um, and this is like a great example here at Alta University, mm. also here in the library, which we are now standing. So um, great job. And I think this is like something um, a lot of uh, countries can learn from Finland uh, and how they abroad education and how, yeah, they also use digital learning, which is also like, of course, um, a really important topic in the future mm -hmm. of learning. Mm. Absolutely. I mean, thanks for the kind words. I mean, yeah. it's so nice to hear it, <laughs> of course. I mean, we have been super active in not really creating a lot of technology or platforms here. Of yeah. course, we have done that as well. Yeah. But uh, the point was be, has been all the time to create communities, create media that communicates, right? Yeah. Virtual yeah. reality, augmented reality. Yeah. But also always remembering that all learning happens in some time and space. Think about it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. even if you have your digital contents, you are always in some place and time. That's true. And I think also like future of learning is a lot about human interaction and collaboration. So we, we need universities and we need open spaces to come together and to argue um, mm. about different topics. Um, so there's of course this online learning platforms, which is mm. really, really important and actually really easy for students to to learn whenever they want to and wherever mm. they want to. Um, but I think the university or the school is then a place for social interaction where people can come together and just argue about mm. uh, their kind of topics. And I think this is like kind of a future that we have the possibility or that universities give the possibility to have online learning systems, mm. but then also have like social interaction in universities, because in the end, mm. um, the future of education, also future of learning is about, yeah, humans uh, with AI, with machines and robotics. Um, and this is like mm. what we kind of have to learn right now, how we can engage, uh, yeah, with robotic, for example. Yeah, but there is uh, some courses in the future, like how to talk to AI. Yeah, right? for example, the right yeah. communication <laughs> skill set. Yeah. 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 Language center offering courses for, yeah. you know, AI communications. Yeah. Who knows? Cool. So I think we just wanted to give like a short insight in the digital education hackathon, what we're doing uh, today here at Alta University and what our ideas are about future of learning. Mm. Um, I think we also made a podcast about yeah, this conversation, yeah. which is Absolutely. online yeah. and um, yeah. yeah. Exactly. It will appear in the Cloud Reaches podcast uh, soonish. I mean, yeah. <laughs> two weeks. I mean, when you see this, might be already there. Yeah. So Looking just click here, wherever it is yeah, <laughs> listed. <click down. laughs> uh, yeah. And uh, yeah, greetings from Helsinki. Yeah. Greetings from Espo, actually. Espo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Bye. So, see you around. <laughs>